Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I finally found all the pieces I needed to be able to hop on live for you all this week. Um, if you follow along with the page, you may have read or heard that I was moving again. Um, so finding all of my odds and ends and things I need in order to go live has been a little bit of a challenge. But we're here, we're live. Hopefully I've got good connections, brand new internet, I don't know how good it's gonna be. Um, and it is hand lettering month. This is the first uh, live tutorial I've done this month for hand lettering. Um, and I just realized I didn't put my phone on airplane mode. I don't know if I can do that while I'm in the video. I don't think I can. So hopefully we don't get any interruptions or um, people trying to call. Anywho, so um, I've got the, the links. I showed these sheets off um, in, um, the introduction video. Um, it's a pack by Ruffles and Rainboots.com that um, they have on Etsy, and it's got a whole bunch of kindness rocks uh, phrases, uh, and, and they're great because there's four different, or three, three to four different ones, depending on, like this one has one, two, three, four, or I guess there's six on this page. Different sizes, different ideas, lots of ones to choose from. You could also just go, on your computer and find fonts you like. I just like these because they're fun combinations and they're a little bit lighter because they're meant to be traced. But see, you got the, the different font combinations, which I think is it's difficult for some people to come up with what looks good together. So um, they've kind of taken care of that. So I've got my Choose Joy sheet here. Um, and then you can take your rock. I like to just kind of place my rock over the design to see if it fits, to pick, you know, if you've got a big rock, you could start with this one, but see, I can tell this one's a little bit too big. So I'm gonna go with Choose Joy today. And I'm gonna go right onto a plain rock because I have yet to find all of my poured rocks from last month. I packed them um, so that I could make kindness rocks from them and now I can't find them. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. I've got a bunch of my 1M colors over here today. I'm actually not going to use black for my lettering um, since the rock itself is plain. I'm gonna use some colors for it today. So the first thing that I like to do uh, before I go to my rock is to practice my phrase. And I know this is kind of light, but I'm pretty sure that you can see still they're they're meant to be light so you can trace them um so you can just go along here now the difference between hand lettering on like a rock and say like if you're hand lettering on paper is you're not going to use a brush style pen so you're going to go through here and trace the design with one single line now you as you practice, can probably decide if you like to keep your first line to the left of the thickness or the right of the thickness. I don't pay that much attention to it yet. Like I've said before, I'm not by any means a hand lettering expert, but I can get them to pull off pretty well and it, with more practice, maybe I will be one day. So uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing your lettering, with a lot of the script style fonts, the downward line, is thick and the upward line stays thin. So as you're practicing, you make that downward line thick, upward thin, right? So down thick, up thin, and sometimes you'll go over the same line when you do a letter. See, so you would go up on the Y, but then it comes back down, so then it becomes thick. And then here's down thick, and then up thin, okay? And then you would color this area in with your paint and i'm using paint pens um even if you don't do your rocks themselves with paint pens having a couple paint pens handy for doing lettering is probably nice so i've traced it there i didn't color it in fantastic but just to get the first go at it now i always like to draw it again right below and try to do it freehand before I go to my rock. See, and you can tell I'm, it's not gonna be perfect, but remember, you're gonna have that second line, right? So that's why I said, you know, you can decide if that 
extra thickness needs to go to the left or the right or a little bit to both to make your letter shapes match what you were trying to do a little bit better. It kind of gives you a little bit of a cushion to fix mistakes. Okay, up and then this swoop down has a little bit of thickness. Okay, so another thing I like about these practice sheets is usually there's one that's more cursive that's a little bit trickier and then this choose. As long as I can make my line straight, you know, the tops of my letters and bottoms of my letters match, I should be pretty good to go. So that is about it. Now, when we're going to the rock, if you're more comfortable, you can take and very lightly sketch on your rock with pencil. I don't like to go too thick because depending on what you're going over it with, sometimes it can show through um, your paint. So you can draw it on and then kind of lightly erase most of it back off if that's easier. I have a tutorial in the more ideas um, where I've done contact paper. Um, you can definitely use contact paper. You just have to make sure to only put pressure what you want to transfer through. Um, but I think the best thing is uh, practice, practice, practice sheets, you know, and things like that. So my joy is going to go kind of off to the side here. So I'm going to go ahead and very lightly put it on my rock. And I'm probably, I'm not going to do the thickness. I'm just going to do the main lettering. And then I can add my thickness with my uh, pens once I'm going through. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of sketch that on there. Like that, and then I've got a better eraser over here, and then I'm gonna kind of lightly get some of that off. Like so, and then I'm gonna add my chews on the top. I could probably freehand that, but I am gonna show you. So if you're trying to space kind of like using the sheet for spacing, look for little hints. Like, so the dot of this J is right between the two O's. See that? So, and the thickness of each letter is about the same, okay? So look for little hints like that when you're, when you're using sheets with lettering, okay? So we've got our dot on our, on our J there. So our O's are gonna be on either side of that dot. Like that, and then we're gonna add our S, and our E, and then we'll go H and then C here. Try to keep the width about the same. There we go. All right, so now it's time we're gonna go back over with our pens and we are going to make it nice and pretty so make sure you've shaken up your pen really well that is drawing well before you go on to your rock and again i'm going to start with my initial line Like so. How far off does it? Get this a little further. There we go. And then I'm gonna go back through and thicken it up a little bit. Just remember the downward line is thick. Up is gonna be thin. Downward, going to be thick. Just like that. There we go. Now, once you've got it on there, you can decide, you know, even your downward line, if you want it to be a little bit thicker than the single stroke, you can just make sure 
or I'm sorry, your upward strokes. If you want those to be a little thicker, you can. Just make sure that your downward ones have more weight to them for it to kind of pull off that brush lettering look. Okay, so we've got that on there. I'm going to do, let's see here, maybe light blue on my top letters here. Now for these letters, they've got the lines that are going horizontal or thin, and then the vertical lines are thicker. However, when there's two vertical lines, one is thinner than the other one. So there's little tricks like that that you have to pay attention to when you're trying to copy a font. And you'll get better at picking up on those and seeing them. Because they'll usually stay pretty cohesive throughout the lettering. Now I am doodling off the tip of my pen over here because I did have that pencil on here. You might pick up a little bit of that if you put the pencil on. So just make sure you doodle it off. Okay, so we've got the um, horizontal lines stay thin. The vertical lines need to be a tad bit thicker. Like so. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm missing all the comments this morning. So if you're watching live, if it says live in that upper left-hand corner, um, thanks for catching it live. You can say hello where you're watching from if you'd like to share. Sometimes you can find another local rock painting buddy that's watching. I might get these letters on here. It's hard, I can't really read the comments and do these at the same time. Another big thing, just make sure you're taking your time. Like I kind of tend to speed up a little bit in these videos just because you're all watching live and I know everybody's got things to do. But obviously the more time you take, the smoother your lines are gonna be. But I'll tell you what, these pens really can help. And I put in our little Amazon shop for hand lettering, I put different um, packs of pens you can choose from. Um, you can just get black and white. There is just the primary colors. There's a lot of different options on Amazon these days of um, getting pens. So you don't have to buy the pack of like, you know, 50 different 1M. These are 1M pens. All right, so choose joy. I'm gonna add some fun little designs on here just to add a little bit more uh, whimsy, I guess you could say. So this is obviously not necessary, but I just like to add a little bit more color because I didn't base coat this rock. Um, it's just one of those things. Why not? And you can do a second coat of paint. Um, once your uh, pen is completely dry, if you've got a couple little areas, like I can still see a little bit of my uh, pencil sticks out, just make sure you go in with a clean eraser. Sorry, I'm off screen, but I'm erasing the tip of my eraser on a piece of paper. Just make sure you have a clean eraser because you don't want to smudge your pencil on there but you'll be able to get that back off pretty easily. So I'll show you. Just be careful not to smear it because the lead can smear depending on the surface of your rock. But see, you can get that right back out. Oh, not really in focus, right back out of there. So I'm just going to make some uh, little flowers. 
to add on to my little design here. And then we're gonna call this one good. But we're gonna do a few others this month. I will hop on and do one with the contact paper. There is a video tutorial on that post though. However, if you would like to go check it out, um, if this is still a little tricky for you to do. But like I said before, the biggest thing that I can tell you to do is just practice. Uh, practice, practice, practice. It's one of those things people spend years getting their hand lettering skills down. These sheets definitely have helped me take my uh, writing to a new level. And there's other ones in that shop too. Like these are kindness rock ones. And I like these because they're all two words. Um, don't start with like a whole script of words. It's a lot easier to, to work on having like one or two words. So simple as that. Somebody will love, love, love this rock. So thanks everybody for joining in live. And thanks for having patience with me this week. This is a lot later than I usually go um, during the week live. I will be back next week as scheduled on a Tuesday to do our next live tutorial for hand lettering month. So um, if anybody has any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments here. I will go back and read through them since I wasn't able to really keep an eye on them while I was doing this rock. Everybody have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.